He said he saw visions of glass. Could this be the glass that my uh, uh, family talked about? Hold on a second. She goes through and leaves for a moment, and then comes back with a book and starts like thumbing through and. Right, so, uh, so, residuum, right, right, um, powerful, very, very basic uh, arcane material. Harnesses can be, can be utilized to uh, replace and uh, act as other expensive type materials and components for spells and uses, very good to know, very important. Um, from what I can tell here, uh, Ah, interesting. All right, so the glass that you're asking for is refined residuum. Uh, it's a rare material this side of Exandria, unfortunately. Uh, the primary source is a place called Whitestone and Taldore, uh, but they export in small batches. <sighs> Can you make it? It's just a... Okay, so not much I know about that, unfortunately. We and probably need to go to Whitestone to get it. Well, no, I could you melt it down. Yeah, like I, 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 I'm familiar with the you basics of try. making glass. Oil leaves. <laughs> I am. I've just taken some incense and just scattered it in front, of, like right at the base of the kiln, so that I can breathe it in from the kiln as I sit and wait for the uh, trance to hit. Okay. As the kind of smoke from the various bits of incense kind of burn up and fill the space with like a, a heavy uh, lavender smell that mingles with the rest of the smoky interior and kind of sweat like scent that fills the air. Uh, you watch the smoke kind of swirl around Caduceus in an unnatural way before dissipating. Uh, in a weird way, kind of a, a, a bit of a bit of a warmth kind of hits your clavicle and chest momentarily forward as you watch Caduceus' eyes close. And the heat rolls away, and much like the early morning light of a dawning sun, you feel the warmth surround you and the wrapping and safe presence of the mother that's guided you. I'm supposed to be searching for the res refined residuum for this kiln. That's your first question? Yeah. It's a yes or no. You sense that the visions that were once given to you come back clearer a second time, and you see these larger shards of condensed Jagged, but still smooth and polished in places, residual glass. You gather the answer is clarifying it to be a definitive yes. Oh, really? Is Whitestone the most accessible? Is, is, is that the. Is that the closest uh, place to find such material? You see visions of alabaster mountains surrounding a valley filled with a dark forest. You see elements of green glass being gathered into crates. You see them being placed onto the back of carts and onto ships sailing off across the sea. And you get the sense the answer is no. Will I find the man who can reforge this sword in the city that he is from? Hold on. I can't pronounce it because I have all these Thank you. Lord 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 the, man who, the man who can reforge this sword mm -hmm. in the city where he's from. Can I find him in that city? You sense the warm breath of the mother across your back as the arms kind of encircle you and embrace a comfortable mother holding a child from behind. And you feel the nod of her cheek against yours, affirming your question as a yes. As her grip pulls away from you, 
the love that's encircled you doesn't entirely leave, but withdraws. And once more, the scent of smoke and soot fills your senses, and your eyes open, slightly watering, sitting amongst the underforge, your friend staring at you. We need to find the res refined res residuum. Well, what if we can make it here? We can't make it here. I don't think it can be made. I think it can only be found. Do you think we could go to Laura Dern and find it? Maybe. I don't know. I think that that's going to be part of what we do next, but I do know that if you're willing tomorrow, we can go get your sword reforged. Is that more you need to do here before we leave? I need to talk, and I would appreciate spending the night, but I get the distinct impression that I'm going to be back, back very quickly. Wait, I have a question, though. Yeah. Dolgram, the guy that forged the sword, right? Um, Kendall, you said that Dolgrim comes here to work sometimes? But hasn't in a while. Uh, Dolgrim has on, on occasionally come through, uh, um, you know, when I was very young. Is this anvil, like, stronger or better than something that he would have at Uthedern? Probably. This is, this is a place where many great crafts have been made, and you watch as uh, uh, Tyler turns and points towards the walls, and you see those those metal uh, the the metal bars and and um, braces that kind of curl up along the walls. Oh, At glance, you can see there's a bunch of script scrawled across them. Ooh. Dwarvish runes. These all tell tales of all the fine crafts that have been made here. Oh, wow! They keep a ledger. Do we see anything about the the, the sword? Yeah, anything. Anyone who reads. Who reads Dwarf? I read Dwarvish! <laughs> you do. Hey! You do! <laughs> Languages are a big part of the Cobalt Soul, and I've picked none that were useful thus far. Sorry. Well, here you go.